Hello, my name is Amal Chandran, and I'm a program manager at the University of Colorado Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. I run the International Satellite Program in Research and Education um, at LASP, and uh, we started this program in 2017 as a means to bring together universities and space science institute from around the globe to come together to build small satellites for space science. We wanted to use this program to teach the next generation of space scientists, students, and engineers uh, to take up this industry, to, to bring them into this industry. Um, and so far, we have been successful in getting about seven satellites in the program. You can see the renderings of the satellites in this slide, the flags of the nations that are primarily associated with each of these satellites, um, and the university logos you can find in the bottom of the slide. As you can see, uh, the sizes of the satellites range from one unit CubeSats to about 27 unit satellites, which are fairly big and uh, approaching the boundary between CubeSats and microsatellites. We are, I'm thrilled to be speaking to you on this occasion, the eve of the launch of uh, InspireSat 5 or uh, UVS CubeSat. So some of the Inspire partners are, you know, the program was developed at the University of Colorado um, at the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. Our initial partner was the Indian Institute of Science and Technology. And this was supposed to be a bilateral cooperation between IAST, uh, which is under the Department of Space in India, and uh, a partner or a feeding organization uh, to the Indian Space Agency. It was supposed to be a partnership between these two universities, but we were lucky enough that we found some very able partners from around the globe who shared this passion and wanted to come together to build these missions. Extremely happy that LATMOS can be a part of it. Um, you know, we've, we've had an inspired workshop in France and uh, Dr. Mustafa has been a, a big advocate for the program. Um, the first mission, InspireSat-1, we started building in um, 2017, uh, after, the, after the middle of 2017. It has an ionospheric instrument and a solar X-ray spectrometer. Uh, it's, a, it's what we call a 9U satellite, has dimensions of 30 by 20 by 15 centimeters. It's ring deployed and weighs about nine kilograms. The satellite was supposed to be launched in 2020, but our launch has been delayed because of travel restrictions due to COVID. Uh, the spacecraft has been developed and we expect to ship the spacecraft to India very, very soon and uh, launch by April, May timeframe. InspireSat 2 is scheduled for January 2021 launch and it carries the compact ionosphere probe, uh, which has been developed in Taiwan. And it's a 3U spacecraft um, and it's going up on the same launch as InspireSat 5 or UVSQSAT. InspireSat 3 uh, is scheduled for 2023 launch right now, and it's in the, the design phase at the moment. InspireSat 4 has passed CDR, and we are scheduled for a 22 launch with a spacecraft delivery in end of 2021. Both 3 and 4 are 27U uh, on the larger side of these type of missions. Um, which brings us to uh, InspireSat 5, which was started at the end of 2018 and has been developed uh, in a year, year and a half, which is, which is phenomenal um, uh, in terms of development of the satellite. And it has a number of multiple sensors, which will help us to understand the energy imbalance, uh, look at the UV spectral radiance, um, et cetera. So, so we are very excited uh, for the launch of InspireSat 5. It's going up along with InspireSat 2 and are the first couple of satellites in the Inspire series to go up. We've also developed a number of uh, ground station network um, and these partner universities will be sharing our ground station resources for operation of these satellites. Hopefully this will give our students a, an opportunity to operate multiple spacecrafts um, and share the data. Uh, and we hope that uh, we can call it, keep this collaboration going. Uh, InspireSat 6 mentioned here is in the design phase right now um, and it has uh, GNSS RO uh, radio occultation and reflectometry as, as, as the, uh, the main objectives of the mission. So as I said, we hope that we can keep this collaboration going. Uh, it's been wonderful for all of the participating universities um, and institutions. We've been able to share resources. We hope to be able to share ground stations and have open access to the data and built up a constellation of satellites that can be used for Earth and uh, um, you know, space science studies in general. 
thank you. I wish you all uh, Godspeed. I wish you um, good luck with the launch and commissioning of the satellite um, and look forward to uh, speaking to you about this more. Thank you.